glass is just this really amazing material that tracks light and it has all these amazing colors, but it's also so difficult to work with, so it takes so much time and skill to become uh, skilled enough to make what you want. And so it's this intriguing material that's kind of driving you crazy. And that's what makes you want to come back again and try to make it better because you totally screwed it up the first time. It's become this weird addiction where you're like, I can continue to make it better. I'm just addicted to material. <laughs> My creative process is I'm a magazine reader, kind of obsessed, and so I'm always ripping things out of magazines and getting inspired by random things, what people are wearing, what the ocean is doing in a photo or something. And once I'm creating, it sometimes changes a lot because you'll start working with an idea that will then transform into something else once I'm actually with the material and cutting things out. A lot of times I'm just I'll get in my studio and just start creating and see where it goes, but then other times I definitely have a well thought out designed thing in my sketchbook that I've designed. I'm really inspired by uh, these pieces that I've been actually working with the architect designing for a hotel where I'm going to be doing windows for inside the rooms. So right now we're just on the planning and designing aspect of it. I, I really like the idea of my pieces being permanent in a structure and that it's part of the design of a structure and so it's not just the afterthought of oh this is the art that would look nice there. It's like this room was built around my piece of glass and I feel really blessed to be in the situation where I get to make stuff like that. The one window I'm working on, I'm going to take a picture of the, the hills from the view because it has a really nice view down the coast and draw out the outline of the coastline. It's going to be a screen print, so it'll just be kind of the elements of the coast, but not too much. So you see that, then you can look through the window and see the actual coastline. Kind of playing with the elements of indoor versus outdoor, which I want to get more into, is those permanent structures that you get to enjoy the views. It's interesting working with the architect because it's a very different world than the fine arts where you have to actually think, okay, this has to be functional. And that's what I think I like about my plates too, is that they're going to eat off it every day. So it's like my, my art is part of the family kind of, you know, everyone's sitting around the table eating off of my plates. So I like that aspect too. So I think I want to be more in people's lives as much as possible, not just like, oh, that's a pretty thing, but like something that people interact with. In, in my work, I'm inspired by my surroundings. My whole family is artists, so I've grown up being involved with that process. I'm definitely inspired also by the landscape around. I mean, living in Big Sur, it's so you just go outside, go for a hike, you see all these amazing colors that are in nature. It's hard to say what I'm really inspired by because it's like everything around me inspires me. <laughs> I am Shelby Hawthorne and I'm a glass artist.